in conjunction with the Cannabis Legalization Task Force announced last week. The Trudeau government also introduced a way for Canadians to express how they think the policy should be implemented. In the form of a series of extremely thorough online surveys located on the government's website, Canadians are asked their opinions on five topics. Minimizing harms, establishing production and distribution systems, enforcing public safety, and medical cannabis. In regards to harm reduction, the government asks respondents to consider several issues, including introducing a minimum age for purchase, advertising restrictions, taxation and pricing, limits of allowable THC, restrictions on extracts and edibles, limitations on quantities for personal possession, and limits on where cannabis can be sold. It then asks if these measures are appropriate to achieve the overarching objectives to minimize harms, and in particular to protect children and youth, or if there are other actions the government should consider enacting alongside these measures. Finally, it asks what the minimum age for purchasing and possessing cannabis should be, and if this should be consistent across Canada. The next section of the survey covers the production of cannabis. It starts by asking for the most appropriate production model to best meet consumer demand while ensuring public health and safety. It further asks how producers should be regulated. Next, the government asks to what extent home cultivation should be allowed, and what, if any, government oversight should be put in place. Thirdly, it asks if licensing or other fees should be introduced. Finally, it asks if the rigorous requirements over the production, packaging, storage, and distribution of marijuana found in the current medical access program are appropriate for the new system, and what role existing licensed producers could have in the new system. The third section of the survey deals with distribution, inquiring about the best distribution model, whether there should be variation across provinces and territories, and if there are other models worthy of consideration. The next section deals with enforcement. In it, the government asks how it should reduce, eliminate, and punish those who operate outside the boundaries of the new legal system. It also asks for input on how to deal with impaired driving, and if people should be allowed to consume cannabis in any publicly accessible spaces outside the home. Lastly, the online survey asks about medical cannabis. Specifically, the government wants to know how to ensure that patients continue to have appropriate access when the plant is made legal. Each survey question provides space for 1,500 word answers, but if that isn't enough room, or you want to include supporting documentation, there's an option to upload a file containing another 10,000 words per section. According to the government, all submissions received between now and November will be considered. 